One day, this guy, Mohammed, he's working a food cart. And then this guy shows up causing problems. Now let's call him Pops. Now Mohammed, he's a Muslim. And Pops, he really doesn't like that. <laughs> your daughter like Muhammad did? The Holy Quran that some people use as a toilet? That's why you're selling food in a food cart, because you're ignorant. Now Muhammad and the guys who work at the food cart, they report Pops to the police. But police don't do anything, because, you know, it's New York. So Muhammad's co-worker, Sam, he starts recording these interactions. And somehow, those videos make their way over to this woman, Layla. Now Layla's an activist, and she posts this on her Twitter asking people to identify Pops. And that is where this TikToker sees it. Tizzy. Tizzy is huge on TikTok, and he's sort of an activist himself. And this is kind of what he does. He identifies people who are acting like a jerk in a video. So, does Tizzy identify who Pops is? Yes, I do, and I don't think you're prepared. Now, right as Tizzy is uploading this TikTok identifying who Pops is, a second and third video drops of Pops harassing Muhammad and Sam. It's not my fault that you pray to a criminal. You're a terrorist. So, who exactly is Pops? Well, I spent two years in the White House in the national security staff. Yeah, dude was a diplomat. He worked for the W. Bush and the Obama administrations. He was also the deputy director of the State Department's Office of Israel and Palestinian Affairs. What the f***? So of course, with this new revelation, these videos are blowing up all over Twitter and TikTok. And then the press picks it up, and they start reaching out to Pops, and he's like giving interviews. He of course tells the story very differently. This whole thing started when I innocently asked him if he was Egyptian, and he said yes. That same day, the lobbying firm that he works with, they see all the news and they see all the videos. Not only do they suddenly drop him in a Twitter post, but the president of the company, who I guess is a lawyer, he offered to represent the food vendors pro bono if they want to bring a harassment lawsuit. And then that becomes a news story. And at this point, all of this news is everywhere. And suddenly there's a lot of public pressure. And then I assume that the police finally decide like, okay, Pops definitely committed a crime. And then they go and arrest him. What do you want to say to the Muslim community about your remarks, Stuart? And he gets charged with aggravated harassment, a hate crime, and stalking. Now, as for the food cart guys, a GoFundMe was set up and they raised $35,000 for them. And because of all this attention, they now have a ton of business. Shout out to New York. <laughs>